What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of LongshotDreams.com bringing you another Transformers Revenge of Fallen movie toy review. This time, a Transformers 2 Revenge of Fallen movie Human Alliance Barricade with Frenzy. I only have one real problem with the figure, and that's the name of the figure. Human Alliance Barricade. When did Barricade align himself with the humans? Or Frenzy, no matter. This figure should be called Robot Defiance Barricade, or you know, the same team barricade or something. Despite having a totally wrong name, this is an actually really awesome figure with really nice detail. You can see this is based on the Celine Mustang by, uh, designed by Ford, but it's owned by Jim apparently. You got the same uh, details like the Decepticon police logo and nice police detail. All the to punish and enslave and instead of serve protect. Even got the license plate and Celine, all the 643 logos on there. And it's actually really nice. I always liked uh, Barricade's uh, vehicle. Mode. You can see Robot Defines Barricade compared to um, the Deluxe uh, Premium Barricade. You can see the, um, how much bigger it is, but also a little differences that details that should have had. Like the Premium Barricade has the 911 response, whereas the Robot Defines one doesn't. Also, there's a 643 logo uh, under, right next to the door that's not on. On the Robot Defiance one. Those are just minor details that are missing. Hopefully repo labels can uh, make some stickers for that. Too. Now Barricade has a really cool thing you can do in vehicle mode which you take the underneath side, get your nail in there, and you can bring out these little uh, gun parts right here. These are very reminiscent of the little claw thingies that Barricade used to interrogate Sam for uh, the glasses in the movie. Sam Woodwookie, you're under arrest for piracy. You have da illegally downloaded Twilight New Moon. No, 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 it can't be me. I I hate Twilight. I, I think Edward sucks. I'm all Team Jacob. I mean, I mean. But then another cool thing, if you continue to um, bring this down right here, and then bring this part down, then lift the hood up a little bit, Oh, look who could be inside here. So you pull this up a little bit and man, it tastes like a Bay former blah. Frenzy could fit inside Barricade right here, which is pretty cool. And he comes out on his chest like he did in the movie. And let's transform Frenzy here. You would just bring up his head and bring down his arms and fold up his legs. And there you got Frenzy ready in his robot mode, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, he has little paint apps for his eyes. The eyes are red, which they were actually blue in the movie, but you know, that's a minor thing. And he actually has some good uh, uh, detail on him. And he also has his little arms. I wish that these had a little joint there to make him, you know, more articulated. But, you know, it's still pretty good considering that the humans and the human lions figures and this robot and the robot defines figure is still very nicely articulated in detail. For articulation, Frenzy's head can go uh, up and down. So he's like, yeah, Metallica, turn, to turn, to turn. I don't know why all the robots like Metallica. But anyway, um, his arms can rotate 360 degrees as well go in and out. He does have uh, uh, ab articulation so he can do his robot crunches and his legs can go forward and back. Also they can rotate and they can also uh, bend at the knee here so he has quite a bit of articulation. Well, size comparison with Frenzy next to Sam so you can see that he's great scale with all the other humans in the human lines figures. Sam with Wiki I know you're hiding the all spark in your pants. Give me your pants. Ah get away from me. I need an adult. I need an adult. No no no. It's just like all the human lines figures you can open up the doors here and then you can you can see there's some nice detail you can see there's some nice detail in there even on the inside doors that, and you can stick frenzy inside here and he will fit in pretty nicely so he's ready to go and give the big robot metal finger to all the humans f you sandwich wiki you want to let me take off your pants let's transform barricade in the robot mode what we want to do first let's uh fold back in these little um guns here back in to here in this section uh make sure it's all folded in so it's all plush and bring up his little cage part right here and what you want to do is open up the doors from both sides because this will make the transformation easier actually pull it from you can actually pull it from the doors here and this will loosen up both sides like and this will pull apart the arms right here on both sides and you'll have them like this now and you want to push the seats forward like so then you want to take this part and pull this about uh, the roof part out from the tabs of the legs right here 
and then you want to fold this part of the torso down while folding the legs down like here and then this will tab into this part right here and to separate the legs right here and for the hips here what you want to do is bring this part up and have these hinges up like so so bring these hinges up then you want to fold out the legs even more so and these little parts on the side you want to bring these up to be like kind of kneecaps which are actually pretty cool i actually dig that so do the same for the other side then for the bottom of the feet here you take these little uh legs uh feet supporters and bring them out so one thing i noticed about the foot when you rotate them around this little part goes up and i think i think it's meant for it to be up there but uh, i noticed that it's easier when you have it just like this uh, it gives it a lot more stability then what you do with the arms you rotate this little uh, joint up so rotate rotate this up then you're going to bring these little parts forward like that so so bring these little parts forward then you want to pull out his arm a little bit and then we want to pull out his uh right hand right here and his thumb a little bit and and then you can fold in the little uh, roof apart right in like that. Now this part's really cool when you press this little button right here on the uh, outside and then it'll go for the ladies and his little spinning pizza slicer of death. Then you want to take his little finger slash blades and just point them out you know like it's like you're making a little sun thing going on so just make sure they're all pointed out. Then you want to fold in this part of the roof right here for his uh, forearm. You want to close the doors otherwise he'll have some weird wings that he didn't have in the movie. I if you like that look cool but you know I fold those in. Then what you want to do is fold back the windshield right here and you want to fold it out a little bit so you can bring down his head. Bring that forward then you want to fold that back in here and then you want to take these back parts and bring them back give his little wings the proper wings on the back. Robot defines barricade in his robot mode. I just love his robot mode. He has definitely the best barricade head sculpt to date, even better than the premium one. Looks very, very intimidating, and I just love his look. The paint apps are a lot better in person than I thought it would be. I thought it looked really bland in pictures and everything, but man, he looks great, and he has he can actually balance really well, and he just looks so intimidating, and uh, I just. He is just badass, definitely the best uh, barricade figure to date. For articulation, barricade's head can rotate all the way around even though his big old chin kind of makes it hard at times, but his head can go up and down, which um, or at least his uh, upper part of the head, which I'll show more of that gimmick in a bit. His arms can rotate all the way around and go in and out. Um, they also bend at the elbow here and swivel 360 degrees at the elbow. Uh, his uh, right hand, uh, his fingers can, his wrist can go in and out, his uh, three fingers can go in and out, and his thumb can also um, move. So he has pretty good finger articulation there. Uh, no hand right here, but I'll get into that gimmick right here. But he has kind of a little bit of waist articulation, but only very slightly. Um, I don't know if it's meant to move like that, but he does have it a little bit. Uh, his legs are also kind of weird where they have articulation, but at a weird angle. The legs can go forward and back, but they swivel at the weird uh, part. They go in and out. They bend at the knee. They also rotate 360 degrees um, at the knee. His feet can go forward and back, and uh, he does have this uh, toe joint on the back, so he also has a joint right there, so uh, he does have a lot of articulation. Now, Barricade, just like you know from the first movie, has this spinning blade of death here, which uh, spins, as you can see. It does have a little mechanism, which would have been nice if he had some sort of mechanism like Blackout to keep this spinning, but it's still very cool. I know what you're thinking. Oh no, Sean's going to make a pizza joke because it looks like a pizza cutter. Well, you know what? Since the holidays, I'm not going to make a pizza joke. But you got to admit that if Barricade uh, isn't fighting Autobots, he's cutting up the Decepticons like big uh, Meat Lovers pizza. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, come on, come on. It's true. There he goes. Now, what's a really cool feature with Barricade that if you pull back the head, you can have actually have an opening mouth, which is really cool. And you can do your favorite scene from the Transformers movie. No, 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 no. 
Are you user ladies man 217? Well, well, what? Are you user ladies man 217? Yeah? Where is that guy with glasses? You mean the nostalgia critic? Well, he can't really be on YouTube anymore, but you can see him on this website, that guy with glasses. Oh, okay, but I'm still gonna kill you because you gave me negative feedback for selling you that She-Ra figure! Hey man, you charge ridiculously amounts of shipping and you shipped it to me two weeks late. Come on, you deserve the negative feedback. Now you can take your friends right here and you can place them on Barricade in many different ways. There's a little tab right here on his hand and there's a little hole on the bottom here so you can tab him into his hand just like the other Human Alliance figures can do that. The only problem with this, you have to rotate Barricade's arm otherwise he'll be holding, because since he can't rotate his wrist, uh, otherwise, like you'll be holding frenzy, like he's uh, using him like a accordion. Dun, dun, let's poke up, dun, 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 and Weird Al rocks. You can also open up the back right here, and there's also little tabs right here where you can place um, frenzy on the back here of Barricade. Yeah, frenzy right on his back. The only uh, thing I noticed, unlike all the other Human Lines figures, there's no like shoulder cannon or rock launcher that frenzy can use, which is kind of weird considering the Decepticon would probably have that. Now another way you can do is you can flip. Uh, a, a barricade's arm around here lift up the seat and then his little uh this little cannon right here will flip out and you rotate this forward then you can take frenzy over here and place this little a hole in the back on this little tab into the chair there you can have frenzy uh man the little gun right there but it just looks kind of weird because barricade pretty much has to make his arm at a weird angle and frenzy's not even near his gun on the upside if barricade ever gets annoyed of friends of being around frenzy all the time he can position over frenzy he can just shoot him in the head i can't take this annoying robot anymore just put me out of my misery i want to join bone crusher and robot heaven and of course you got frenzy riding barricade's chest and man his little guns right there and man if you thought tara reed had a bad boob job then you gotta look at Barricade. Oh man, I know about having a killer chest, but this is ridiculous. I need to fire my plastic surgeon. Size comparison time. So here you can see Barricade is uh, definitely uh, taller than his deluxe counterpart. He's actually the same size as Human Lines Bumblebee, and even bigger than the Voyager figure like Voyager Bludgeon. Robot Defiance Barricade is definitely the best Barricade figure we get. It has definitely a lot of great detail. Um, Awesome robot mode, awesome vehicle mode, the frenzy figure and features is just great. I love, even though he doesn't have a left hand, it's a way better feature than the Deluxe Barricade with a pop-out hand, so I definitely dig it. Um, you can get this at BigBadToyStore.com right now for about 40 bucks. I definitely highly recommend this figure. He, even though he's not technically a human alliance, he, he's definitely a great barricade figure and to add to your collection. I, I love this figure. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as our toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long saying till next time. Hey guys, wonder where I get all my amazing toys? Well, I get them at BigBadToyStore.com. The BBTS for sure. For all your needs, whether it's Transformers, DC, Marvel, GI Joe, and more, go to BigBadToyStore.com. They accept PayPal and they do pre-orders, and they're just awesome. Hello, brother. Prepare to die from my killer boobs of death. Mwahahahahaha. <laughs>